Would you rather have $4,000 a month, every month for the rest of your life, or $3 million? I'm gonna show you the math right now. All right, so that is the question of the day. Someone asked, all right, Chris, $4,000 every month for the rest of your life or one lump sum of $3 million, which would you take? First of all, this is really simple and yet I'm so glad this question was asked because the math I'm about to do, you need to know how to do this. In fact, making a million dollars, making a lot of money usually comes down to math, division, subtraction, multiplication, really just the basics. I almost never use algebra in anything that's been able to create significant wealth for me. Here's the math that you wanna understand. And the reason why this is such a great question is because most of us live in an accumulation mindset. How much money do I really need to retire? Assume for a moment that it was $3 million. The question is what kind of return can you ultimately produce on a consistent basis on a certain amount of money? I know that I have the ability to make 10% in real estate every year. In fact, I average 20 to 30% real estate. But for just a moment, let's just say it's 10% because I wanna be conservative and I wanna make it easier for my money to do what it's gonna do. Well, if we take $3 million and we take a look at 10%, your number might be lower, but you do your own math. 10% of that is $300,000. So 300,000 is how much I believe I can produce very easily on an ongoing basis. If I amortize that over 12 months, Guess what that ends up being? $25,000 a month. Now I wanna ask you a question. Would you rather have $4,000 a month, every month for the rest of your life, or would you rather have $3 million? If you knew how to make 10%, you would be foregoing 21 extra thousand dollars, or $25,000 a month is what 10% of that would be producing. Now let's say you wanna get crazy conservative and you say, Chris, not 10%. I go to the financial markets where this money becomes guaranteed, almost untouchable, it just can't lose it. 5%, well, it's not gonna be 300,000, it's gonna be 150,000. If I cut this number in half, it's still over $12,000 a month. It's still three times bigger than this number right here. So by the way, there is no universe where I would ever accept $4,000 a month residual income for the rest of my life when I had the opportunity to take $3 million. So I just want to for fun do a little bonus. What would really then the cutoff difference be? You would have to get this money producing right around 1.7%. And I just want to share with you how I did that math. I know that if this needs to be a third to equal $4,000 a month, then a third of 5% is around 1.7. $3 million producing 1.7 million, it's not even keeping up with inflation, but it's easily producing that same $4,000 a month. So I hope that math is really useful for you. You gotta know how to do this. And please do yourself a favor. This is the thing that drives me nuts in society. People will say, well, I got a good salary based on what my bills are today. Screw that. You gotta know what your retirement looks like. You gotta know what you're building towards. You gotta know what your future costs. If you're like, oh yeah, I'd like to be able to take four trips a year. There's a cost to that. It might be $30,000 a year. I wanna have my really, really nice dream house, cost 10,000 a month, great. A factor an extra 120,000 in. You can come up with an amount of money for living your ideal lifestyle and can thus reverse engineer what residual income it'll produce and hence how much you're gonna need to produce. This math is math you gotta know. If you're gonna deal with me in the game of real estate, wealth, finance, cryptocurrency, period, this is the backbone to knowing how today's decisions can impact you and get you where you wanna be. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that the breakdown of this math was useful for you. If you need to, go ahead and break it down again, watch the video again, make sure that you can do this like the back of your hand. And if you know somebody that isn't really financial planning for their life, send them this video, share it with them, and invite them to learn this basic math that ultimately determines whether someone fails in the end or financially succeeds.